about a quick lesson on Toys in the Attic? Uh, what are their better tunes? I think. It's in the key of E. Uh, for most of it, I think they're playing fairly similar things. I think for the main riff, one of them drops out for this. That whole thing. So, I, I don't know, maybe that's just Joe, I have no idea. So, uh, it starts with this, and they are playing two different things on this intro part. It's just E. D, A. That's a, a good rhythm to practice. So while one of them's doing that, the other was. Right, that's uh, D at the second fret. D at the second fret, on off. A at the second fret, and then. So just break it into pieces. That's easy. And then open a D string, A string at two, and then on the low E string, three zero. Checked on YouTube just to see is it is it even worth the time to, to do a lesson? Do, do other people have it covered? Yeah. Some do, but some don't. So uh, the the easiest way and simplest way, and that usually means the real way, I guess, to play that. Uh, like that. So up here at E. Do suspend the B up one fret on the E. So it's on off the B fret, the B string one fret. Up. Then the G is 11 9, and then the D is 11 9. Then A, then A here. stops on the A and then does the same thing as the other verse. Same you know the same thing as the intro.
So you do another one of those, but the second time through it sort of stays on the B, he just goes... <laughs> And then it, it ends on E. On the solo, walk your way up to E. However you want to do the solo. But end on E. And then you're back in the same. Now you, that, that is tricky and that takes a little work. In fact, if, if we were serious about it, <laughs> I, I would have run through it three or four times, all the way through to get this. Instead of doing it on the first try from, from memory. But. I mean, you can get it clean if you, if you work on it a few times. And then that's, that's the end of it. It ends on... I think that's all the parts to it. Good luck.